Hello, this is Bonin from Bonin.tv and today I want to talk about an update that Google put out today on their official blog concerning OTA updates or OTA synchronization. Um, OTA is a common term in the cell phone world. Uh, it stands for over the air, which means that there's no wires involved in the process. It's all wireless. It's all over the air. Uh, you, you hear about cell phones getting over the air updates and over the air firmware updates. Uh, the Google Android pra platform, I believe the T-Mobile G1 just recently got uh, just recently got an over the air update. Whereas we iPhone users, we have to plug it in and we have to do all that stuff. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> but uh, Google announced today Google Sync, which is uh, something that's been out for a while for Blackberries and other phones. Uh, but now it supports the iPhone as well as Windows mobile devices. So in total, Google Sync for your mobile phone supports iPhone, Blackberry, Nokia S60 devices, Nokia standard devices, Sony Ericsson devices, and Windows mobile devices. What does it do? Well, it, it right now it will sync your calendar and your contacts to the cloud. Now, what does that mean? That means that whenever you make an update in your Google address book of someone or you add someone in your Google address book, you will automatically get that synchronized down to your iPhone without having to plug it into a computer. That's the beauty of over-the-air updates is that you're not tied to a computer. You can receive all of your updates to your contacts and your calendars to your iPhone without plugging in your iPhone. Now, this is something that the Google Android platform kind of inherently has. It's all about cloud computing. Everything is in the cloud. So if you make a change in one place in the cloud, it's going to take effect to all your devices in the cloud and that connect to the cloud. Microsoft is doing something very similar. They're coming out with a, a, a technology that they're calling, oddly enough, my phone, um, which is going to do something very similar. Kind of sounds like iPhone, but it's my, my phone, my, my phone. But anyway, this is all about cloud computing. This is all about the convenience of updating in one spot and having it push out to all your devices. So Google announced this. Go to m.google.com slash sync and it will redirect you to google.com slash mobile default blah 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 blah. Um, if you go there on your iPhone, now some people when they first started with their iPhone, they noted that they couldn't do multiple calendars. You can do multiple calendars. You just have to set it up first and then surf to m.google.com slash sync on on mobile Safari and then from there you'll be able to configure multiple calendars that you can choose to synchronize with with your iPhone. Now this is making use of Active Sync, so I think you need to back up your data. Um, I, from what I understand from Active Sync, it will replace whatever on your iPhone. Um, so back up your data, make sure you got your contacts, you make sure you got your calendars backed up before you dive into Google Mobile Sync. Alright, this is Buona from Buona.tv, Google Mobile Sync coming to the iPhone and Windows mobile devices. Enjoy.